Hi, I'm Valley from Greenwood Solutions. Today's video is on solar panel maintenance and monitoring. Well, all things require maintenance, whether it's a backyard garden, the car you drive to work, the public transportation use, or the machinery um, used in factory automation. And a commercial solar system is no exception. Solar systems installed by CEC accredited companies should include a maintenance schedule as part of the agreement. But if this is offered, it's usually only applies for a short period of time. As part of the requirements under Australian standards, an installer designer of a solar system must include documentation that specifically states recommended maintenance for the system, maintenance procedure, and the timetable. Documentation showing what maintenance should be undertaken and a timetable must be provided, but the actual maintenance doesn't. It's a recommendation, a should, not a shall. As a result of the old should-shall adherence to standards, many companies only offer maintenance as an option or to close the deal, when in fact it should be part of an ongoing service agreement. This ongoing service, service agreement should include maintaining the installed system in tip-top condition, maximising the output and thereby maintaining an ongoing reduction in money spent on electricity. It's not enough to document a maintenance system and what's required, the timetable. You actually have to offer one and I'd caution any business owner entering into an agreement with a, um, a commercial solar company, renewable company that doesn't offer a, a firm maintenance schedule that absolutely makes sure that your system is operating at its peak. In other words, saving you the maximum amount of electricity. So what's actually maintained? The maintenance recommended by the Australian Standard AS New Zealand 5003 can be classified into three separate but connected categories. General cleaning, which we've covered in one of our other videos. Electrical safety, wiring, integrity and measurement. Structural integrity of the framing cable support system. This area of maintenance can be subdivided into the following. General visual inspection physical integrity checks, component tests. The visual inspection methodically goes over the whole system. Checks for the integrity of cable entrance glands, fractures on panels, moisture penetration, noticeable damage to conduit, status of cable tray, dented, loose lid, etc. rust on the frame, corrosion, bolts and screw corrosion, inverter damage, etc. The visual inspection can quickly identify potential issues that may need to be rectified. This is where a licensed electrician is required as it involves electrical work such as verifying blocking diode operation, checking surge arrested degradation, measuring open circuit voltages and a host of other tests. Obviously, the ongoing electrical safety of any system is of the utmost importance. These maintenance checks should be performed by experienced uh, personnel with electrical backgrounds, um, at the very least CEC accredited personnel. The electrical tests must be conducted by an A-grade electrician. This part of the maintenance schedule involves checking the structural integrity of the framing system, the cable tray conduit system, the panel mount, mounting roof or ground mount. As solar panels are mounted outside and therefore subject to potentially extreme conditions, uh, regular inspections are necessary to check structural integrity. And on from that, monitoring is a really important area as well. With monitoring, we can really ascertain the nitty gritty of what goes on. We can look at various relationships between what's consumed from the grid, what's consumed from the solar, what's produced from the solar, and then offer you know, concrete energy management strategies that can help you reduce your bill even further. For example, we have a 500 kilowatt solar system that goes down in December for a week. Let's say in Melbourne during a particularly sunny period. Daily output per kilowatt of panels installed is about 2,850 kilowatt hours a day and multiply this by seven days. The total energy lost is nearly 20,000 kilowatt hours. Now let's assume 
a 50-50 split between production used on site at 25 kilowatt hours and exported at 9 cents a kilowatt hour. Dollar value lost on loads is $2,493. Dollar value lost to the grid, energy unused on site and exported to the grid, $897. So total lost over this period is $3,390. The importance of monitoring is not only through a checking process for potential issues, but also as insurance against production losses. Through certain monitoring products, not only can production be monitored, but also site consumption. By carefully analysing daily peaks, certain energy management strategies can be suggested to improve overall energy usage. Conclusion. Maintenance of any system is of the utmost importance, and this of course applies to commercial solar systems. Making sure that the components are all intact, connections are firm, and the overall structural integrity is maintained is crucial. Even a simple visual check can uncover potential issues that can have ramifications for overall system safety and output. Monitoring is where the system's ongoing health can be observed, analysed, and from this information, additional energy management strategies can be suggested. Thanks for watching our video on solar panel maintenance and monitoring. I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions. If you have any questions, any inquiries, any answers, please feel free to contact us and hit that subscribe button if you see fit. Thanks very much.